I mean, we're standing on the shoulders of giants. Uh, we don't just get 60 years of an organization without having to go through uh, a legacy, a lineage of folks who really paved the way. We were founded during the 1964, the Civil Rights Act. And so there's a lot of historical precedence that comes with that. And I think here, 60 years from now, we have the opportunity to make substantial change and to go for another 60 years. Welcome to our 60th annual Student National Medical Association Educational Conference. The Student National Medical Association is the largest and oldest uh, nonprofit organization committed to serving uh, future and current underrepresented minority medical students. Uh, we address the needs of underserved communities and we are um, important as it pertains to increasing the number of clinically excellent, culturally competent, and socially conscious physicians. It's really a blessing, it's really a privilege to be the chairperson of the board for the 23-24 administrative year, uh, to be able to kind of oversee and kind of purvey over 15,000 plus members in terms of the operations, the business, contracts, negotiations, everything that has to do with really making this organization thrive. Uh, and it's really a privilege that I won't soon forget. This is the future of medicine I'm staring at. So um, grab that energy with zeal, go out, do amazing things. This is the next generation of physicians from an underrepresented population, which we have not done a good job addressing in my entire career. So to come here in front of these young people who are the future and to have an opportunity just to greet them, to thank them and to challenge them a little bit, to go out and make medicine better where my generation is going to hand it to them. Involvement from TCU is incredibly important because our students, and especially our students of color, have an insane amount of support at these conferences. I know many of us that have come to these conferences in the past, me included, have gotten away rotations, residency interviews, etc., only from being at this conference and the connections that we make. So the fact that TCU allows us to take time off of school and even sends us to the conference is a huge advantage to our students. We're really recruiting the future of medicine, a new face in medicine that really helps everyone feel welcome, that they belong, and that they have a physician that's going to continue to understand and be empathetic to their unique needs. And it's really important and essential to continue the legacy of serving as someone who's willing to present, just because it also represents our service learning and community engagement department, where it shows that we are willing to go above and beyond outside of the Texas state borders to really serve those that are underrepresented in medicine and also help them along that journey and demystify what that journey looks and feels like for students who want to pursue a degree in medicine.